Hello, hello, and welcome back to my ASMR channel. Today we're going to be talking about friendships, breakups, and everything in between. Anyways, you guys, I always want to do an ASMR video, but I don't even know what I would say or do. Like, And then watch me become like fucking a millionaire doing that finger taps. <sighs> okay, you guys, I am getting on here. I just want to do a quick update on what's been happening in my life. You guys, 2020 was a really horrible year for me. I know I've said that before. Obviously, it's been a bad year for everyone. But 2020 really was bad for me. I lost an amazing job at the beginning of the pandemic last year. My relationship recently came to an end officially um, after many, many times of trying again and, uh, you know, trying to make it work. It just did not. Um, and then also I'm in the middle of moving right now. I've been working a lot trying to save up money. Um, just a lot of different things have been happening. I sold my car, had to find a new vehicle. Um, you know, I lost one of my friendships, which, you know, we'll get into in a bit, but it really has been a very, very hard year. Um, and this year so far, I mean, I know we're barely in March, but it's been significantly looking up. Um, so I have no complaints about that, but let's get into it, you guys. So I've spoken about my relationship in past videos before, and I've never really gone too much into detail, but um, I was in a relationship with someone uh, and we met about... I would say three, four years ago, we were, we met online on Facebook. We were friends. Uh, you know, he flew to see me. We got along really great, fell in love, moved in together for a short amount of time. Our lease came to an end. We decided to, um, you know, live separately again, just to save up money. Um, and for me, I needed to, you know, save up, pay off some debt that I had. Um, and so the best decision was to live apart. So we held a long distance relationship for quite a while and we're making plans to move back in with each other again, but the relationship just was not working out. Um, and it wasn't the distance because I feel like the problems were still there regardless of, you know, it being a long distance relationship. You know, when we lived together, we kind of still had the same set of problems, um, so, you know, after several, you know, ons and offs, you know, short breakups and getting back together and short breaks up, breakups and getting back together again, um, you know, just decided that it just wasn't working and, you know, what isn't working just isn't working. You know, you can try so many times and if nothing changes, nothing changes. What can you do? So decided to let that go. Um, and it's unfortunate, you know, it's really sad. It's not an easy decision to make. Um, definitely after, you know, almost three, four years in each other's lives, you know, it's not easy to do that. Um, and so I've been going kind of through the waves of emotions from that breakup for quite a while, because again, like I said, there were many, many trials of trying to make it work and it just wouldn't um and it got a little bit better but not to a point where you know we could coexist in peace it was just too destructive and too toxic um and i think that happens in a lot of relationships you know but it just wasn't i just wasn't happy and i don't think they were either so i don't really want to talk too much about what happened maybe that's in another video um so I've been going through the waves of emotions of the breakup. Um, and then that was a rat last year also when the pandemic started. And that's when my relationship problems were kind of starting. And so 
I was working at the airport here in Arizona and I had just gotten a really, really um, amazing job, you know, at a small spa in two of the terminals here at the airport. And I had only been there maybe like 30, a little bit more than 30 days. And then the pandemic started and literally second week of March, you know, I moved into this apartment that I'm in right now literally got my keys maybe like probably I would say March 15th somewhere around there and literally the next day got furloughed so I have this apartment I was unemployed pretty much overnight um relationship was chaotic and also I had just been gradually progressively not even slowly, very quickly gaining a lot of weight. And I know I, I've said this in past videos before, and I know I've spoken about it briefly, but I used to be very overweight. I used to be very, very obese. Um, my whole childhood, I was a, just a big fat kid. Um, but I was a happy kid that wasn't, you know, whatever. I didn't really get bullied for being fat too much, but I just was unhappy with myself being heavy. Um, and when I started transitioning, I got really a lot heavier, estrogen and whatnot and everything else. But I would say early 20s, I started losing a ton of weight. And I, I would say around 2015, 2016, 2017, I was in the best shape I've ever been. Um, and so I think the past year I've gained 60 plus pounds. Um, and so that's been causing me quite a bit of insecurity as well because, you know, I've maintained my weight and my figure and my, you know, my health pretty much for a, a, a while, you know, and I've always, the gym has been such a big part of my routine and taking care of myself has been such a big part of my life. So, um, you know, the weight gain, the relationship coming to an end, new apartment, no job. Um, and so, you know, months went by without working because obviously we were on lockdown. Everything opened back up here. I start a new job and I make a new friend. And it was a girl that I was working with. Um, and it's been probably, that was maybe eight months ago now. Became very good friends got really, really close. We've been talking every single day. Um, you know, just a really good, solid, functional friendship, you know, emotional support. Um, she was going through a breakup. I was going through a breakup. You know, just a lot of similarities. You know, we could kind of console each other in the process of, you know, life being chaotic. Um, and so recently, uh, in the past, you know, two months, still have been going through everything pretty much. Um, and I have been trying to get ready to move out of this apartment, save up money to figure out what I'm going to do uh, as far as where I'm going to live and, you know, just everything. So almost at the end of last year, like I would say November, December, I started a new job, found an amazing, amazing place that I work at now. Um, you know, everything's better in that part. The relationship, my relationship finally officially ended. Um, you know, I've been kind of getting back on the exercise train to try to lose this weight because I think that's a huge part of me feeling depressed, you know. I just, um, none of my clothes fits, you know, I was gonna go out to dinner with a friend of mine and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wear some jeans. I haven't worn jeans in a while. I keep wearing leggings and, you know, cause it's been winter and it's been cold and I was gonna put some jeans on and, you know, I have jeans from when I was really, really thin and I have jeans from my heaviest and my heaviest jeans did not fit me. Not only did they not fit me, they didn't go past my fucking hip. So I'm like, you know what? I really need to start getting into shape again. And that was a huge wake up call. And that was probably like three, four weeks ago. Um, but everything's been getting better. Um, 
unfortunately my friendship with this friend that I'm that I've mentioned uh came to an end as well because um you know I've dealt with friends who are a little bit needy and I don't want to say I don't know if that's the right word to use but you know some friends require a lot of attention some friends require a lot of communication some friends require face-to-face -face interactions and some friends you know you don't see for months and months at a time and when you finally meet up and catch up it's like no time has gone by unfortunately this friend you know we would talk every single day from the time I would wake up to the time I would go to bed, phone calls during the day, voice messages, everything all day long, nonstop communication. Um, but I haven't seen her since uh, a little bit after New Year's. We exchanged our Christmas gifts and I just haven't seen her. And it's mid-March now, um, you know, but I really genuinely have been very, very busy. And I know people always say, and I've read memes that say like, oh, you're never too busy. It's just you don't make time for people or people make time for what's important. But yeah, and I understand that. But right now, for me, what's important is to work my ass off, to come home and sleep. Um, I still have to cook, do laundry, see my family. I have a lot going on right now. And um, also, I'm trying to build a clientele at my new job. So that's been, you know, I've been and we've been short staffed too and it's our busy season right now because we got a lot of snowbirds there's a lot of people traveling into Arizona because the weather's great here during the winter um so it's just been really hectic and I've been you know constantly telling this friend you know we'll hang out really really soon I'm in the middle of packing right now I need to figure out where I'm gonna move to I don't really know what I want to do blah 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 just I've been very very stressed out and I've expressed this several several times and funny enough like um, probably two days before our friendship ended I sent her a message and I said oh you know everything's getting better now you know I can't wait to hang out we should hang out this week let's meet up and go you know grab some food and she's like oh I would love that well two days later uh one of my friends had uh a couple of days to move out of their apartment right and they hadn't planned they hadn't actually packed anything but that's because they had gotten COVID but that's because they had gotten COVID and they could not you can't pack and you can't worry about moving when you're bedridden and you're on the verge of death you know so they weren't able to pack anything and I let my friend know that I was gonna help this friend move and she basically bombarded me with paragraphs and paragraphs of, of, you know, oh, I've asked you to hang out so many times and you just never have time. I've said I, I would drive to you, but you're still too busy for me. My other friends are too busy for me. I should just leave everybody alone. Um, you know, I'm going to disappear. No one's going to hear from me. No one's going to feel uh, like I'm bothering them anymore. I don't want any pity friends. And honestly, that really upset me. Uh, it made me sad, but it also pissed me off because if there's one thing that I try to be is a good friend. Um, and whether I am or not, that's obviously, you know, to the perspective of my friends. I can't, I'm not going to self-proclaim that I'm a great friend, but I do try. Um, and so... For me, I know that I made the conscious effort to be as vocal and as open and as transparent about what I was going through and to the reasons why I couldn't make time to drive almost an hour to see this friend. Now, the fact that I was helping a friend move out of pretty much emergency, like in a last minute pinch, and my friend decided to take this moment to get upset with me, just rub me the wrong way so I end up calling her and we end up getting into an argument and I was very upset by especially the last thing that she said was oh I don't need pity friends well girl um you are not an easy person to sometimes be friends with and to say that I'm friends with you out of pity uh no 
because I'm not friends with anybody out of pity. I don't have an obligation to be friends with absolutely anyone. I am friends with who I want to be friends with. And um, if I let you into my life and I gave you my time and everything else, that's because that was my choice. So, you know, especially being in our 30s, guys, like, I just don't understand why people can't really respect, like, you know, especially when you can't give more of yourself to someone, like, I just can't right now, you know, I'm sorry, but I can't. I think people should respect people's time and... You know, it's not like I was avoiding her, ghosting her, dodging her, curbing her, doing anything like that. I was just like, hey, you know, you know, I'm off work now, but I got to go to bed because I have to be up in 10 hours kind of a thing, you know. So it wasn't really me going out partying, you know, or me choosing to hang out with other people. Needless to say, uh, when I was very, I was very direct and very blunt and I said, you know, I think it's fucked up that you keep on guilting me and guilting me and throwing in my face that I'm too busy for you, too busy for you, too busy for you. Because it was constant over the past two months. It's been constantly her telling me, oh, well, you're too busy. Oh, I guess I have to be your mom for you to hang out with me. I guess I have to be your sister for you to hang out with me. Well, girl, that's my family. My family's going to come first. Sorry, not sorry, but they're going to come first. So within that conversation... Uh, she was surprised at the fact that I wasn't being gentle with her because usually in this friendship, I noticed I always had to be very careful and walk on eggshells because she would get her feelings hurt very easily. So I was not gentle and I was not walking on eggshells and I was not careful with my words. I didn't insult her. I didn't yell at her. I wasn't, but I was like, you know what? I think it's fucked up that you're guilting me um, after I said I, I'm busy. I think that as people in our 30s, we should understand each other's time limits and time restraints and lack thereof. And um, I don't want you to be mentioning it over and over again, especially when I'm helping a friend who needs me right now. And she pro kind of alluded to my friend taking advantage of me. And obviously she doesn't know the context of my friendship. So that upset me even more because I'm like, if you're mad at me for not making time for you, that's one thing. But you're not going to drag somebody else who you don't even know because you're mad at me. We're not going to do that. So she starts crying on the phone because she was confronted and she rushes off the phone. She says, I'm going to get off the phone crying, gets off the phone. We haven't spoken since. So it's safe to say that that friendship is over. Um, I do appreciate this person quite a bit. They're very, they're a very nice person. They're a good person, but, um, I also don't like friendships where, you know, I just don't like friendships where there's no understanding and there's no respect for someone else's time. Also, um, very early on, I also noticed that, you know, it was this kind of friendship where, I always kind of had to drive to her to hang out and, you know, I was always the one having to constantly go out of my way, but yet I, she was always the one wanting to initiate the hanging out, which made no sense, whatever. What's done is done. Um, it's, I'm sad about it. Yeah, I lost my relationship. I lost my friendship. Um, it's just been a lot, you guys, but <sighs> things are looking up. And I am pretty much all packed up in this apartment. I already found um, another place to rent. Um, and yeah, so I'm almost unpacking and I probably will start moving in two or three days. And I just wanted to get on here and give you guys a little bit of an update because I'm always saying that I am going to upload regularly and I never do. But that's because sometimes... I really don't know how much information I want to give out. Uh, and I don't really know how personal I want to get on here because, you know, sometimes it feels to me like I upload these videos and I'm just talking to people on YouTube, but uh, it's kind of scary to think that people can find you, people in your city, in your state, whatever, can find these videos and actually, like, I don't know, it's just scary. But, whatever, you guys. Um, 
so yeah, that has been my 2020 uh, and it's been a lot. Uh, if it was one thing at once, that wouldn't be an issue, but it's been everything all at once. And, you know, and then three of my closest friends had COVID almost all at once. That's another thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, it's been a fucking lot, you guys. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. And um, yes, but we got to keep on trucking. We got to keep on moving forward. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.